We all remember being in high school and being super excited to get our driver's license in sophomore or junior year. But along with that excitement came a lot of nerves. Not only were you having to take your test usually in a car that wasn't yours, but you had to take it with a random stranger who was grading you and you had to do it in an area that you were probably unfamiliar with. Now, parallel parking is usually an aspect of some road tests, but that differs based on what state you're from. Where I live in New Jersey, parallel parking is an aspect in which you have to accomplish within three tries or else you fail your test completely. So, while parallel parking is important for highly populated areas such as mine, it's still not really administered on the test the way that it should be in order for students to have the highest success rate and feel the less amount of, least amount of stress. So in order for that to occur, instead of having the three trial roll, we should eliminate it completely and instead allow a specific time slot for students to parallel park an unlimited amount of times as long as it's within that time. Now, what is parallel parking exactly? Well, according to the official driving school website in 2018, which informs us about a lot of the road tests regulations, Parallel parking is in which a mechanism in which you forward park along a street side in between cars and smaller compact areas. Now, this is common in a lot of places near cities, such as Philadelphia, New York City, Los Angeles, Seattle, but in more rural areas of states, which is a lot of the United States, parallel parking is not very common at all. So to have it on the road test doesn't really make sense. Now, Auto Insurance Center, as of 2020, which is a knowledgeable website in the road regulations throughout the states, goes into detail about how a lot of states are actually taking it off for that specific reason. States such as Oregon have never even had a parallel parking on their road test because they know that it's not common throughout the state and that their drivers aren't going to need to know how to do it. Other states are also not including it because they feel like the skills that are involved within parallel parking are also seen in other aspects of the test and so it's redundant in a way. Now, with that being said, in New Jersey, why is parallel parking important? Well, as I said before, it's a highly populated state close to a lot of major cities. New York, Philadelphia, Newark, all of those areas are gonna have parallel parking, but there are still some areas where parallel parking isn't as common and student drivers aren't getting enough practice, so when they go into their test, there's a lot of nerves and anxiety along with it. Now, the Motor Vehicle Commission of New Jersey is a regulatory body for all motor vehicles within the state and provides all the laws that go along with it. They claim that the driver's test takes about 10 to 15 minutes per student driver. Now, we know that within that 10 to 15 minutes, each student is getting about three tries to practice parallel parking. And we know that that's taking up the bulk of the test because a lot of the other maneuvers required are very basic and are performed all the time when using a permit. So for example, reversing, going forward, stopping at a stop sign, turn signals, that's gonna happen no matter what, whenever you drive. Parallel parking is only gonna happen in certain areas, and if you don't live near those certain areas or don't drive by them, you're not gonna have to parallel park. So how do we make it so that students still have to parallel park while making it not as stressful for them? Well, instead of the 10 to 15 minute um, time period with just three tries, we need to make a designated time slot for each student driver when taking the road test, about 20 to 25 minutes. By doing this and giving the students unlimited amount of tries, it allows them to get the bulk of their test done first and still have a lot of time to accomplish parallel parking. In real life, when you go to parallel park in a spot, if you don't get it in the first three tries, that's okay. There's no one there to tell you, oh, you're done, you can't parallel park here, you have to keep driving around in circles. No, you're gonna parallel park until you actually get it and fit in the spot. And which makes more sense to have it that way on the test because that's how you're going to do it in real life. Now, while this is a great idea, how do we actually get it into motion? Well, the Motor Vehicle Commission of New Jersey would have to make it a part of the road test. And a way to get that to happen is by getting petitions with local people who back the change. So if we get that to happen and then can push that up to governmental positions such as senators or congressmen or local mayors, people who will support it, the Motor Vehicle Commission will be more likely to change the rule and allow children a better chance of parallel parking during their test. So to wrap this up, we talked a lot about the different uh, methods in which parallel parking is instituted on different states' tests. Some require it, some don't, and that makes sense depending on the population and the amount of cities within the state. However, 
New Jersey needs to have parallel parking. It's an important skill. If you're gonna drive around the city of New Jersey, parallel parking is gonna come up. But with that being said, it does cause a lot of stress with the way they administer it on the current road test. Giving three tries for a student who's already nervous about getting their license to begin with is gonna add a lot of pressure when they go in to take their test. And they're most likely not gonna do well on it. So if instead we give an allotted time slot for each student saying, here you go, you have 20 to 25 minutes, complete all of the tasks in this time, the students are more likely going to be less pressured because they know that they'll be able to get the basic tasks done first and then be able to accomplish parallel parking within the 10 to 15 minute window that they have left after accomplishing those basic maneuvers. If we can actually get this change to accomplish through the Voter Vehicle Commission of New Jersey, this will be able to help a lot of students feel less pressured about going to get their driver's license through the road test.